So what is the cost of knee replacement surgery and how long does it last? Friends, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about it. Very recently, we did a video on the same topic about hip replacement surgery, right? But the criteria for the cost of knee replacement surgery is different from hip replacement surgery. And we're going to learn about it in this video, friends. Hello, friends. I'm Dr. Pankaj Walecha and I'm a hip and knee replacement surgeon in Delhi. In last more than 20 years, I've operated more than 3,700 patients with hip and knee replacement surgeries and I've helped them in going back to their normal lives. And friend, it's not that we operate and replace each and every joint. I also truly believe in saving the natural knee joint by doing knee joint preservation surgery. And we have made videos about that also. So on that note, friends, let's understand how the cost of a knee replacement surgery is calculated. One is the diseases which you have besides knee arthritis. Like many people have diabetes, hypertension, cardiac problems. If you have all those problems, then of course, we need to involve more physicians, cardiologists, nephrologists to take care of you and to prepare your body for the surgery. So if you have less comorbidities, then your cost will be relatively lesser. So if I have to give you a number, an approximate cost or a ballpark number, then it will be around 2.5 lakh rupees in Delhi in today's time. One side knee replacement surgery may cost you around 2.5 lakh rupees approximately. Now it is slightly less or slightly more depending on these three factors. If you have more diseases in your body, then we need more preparation. A's in the hospital would increase and you may require an ICU. So that adds to the cost, okay? Number two is the implant. Now, Indian government has fixed the cost of the implant to only two categories. One is around 60,000 and other is around 80,000. And friends, I'm talking about the primary knee replacement surgery, which means that your knee replacement surgery is being done for the first time. Okay. It is not a revision knee replacement. Okay. So in these two categories, most of the hospitals and doctors have to choose. So that is more or less fixed. And it is unlike a hip replacement surgery where we had an uncemented and a cemented. Here we just have cemented. In knee replacement, it is always cemented in our country at the moment, okay? So, uncemented knee replacement surgery still being uh, developed and we still do not have enough data to make it a gold standard for our knee replacement patients. Of course, as I have mentioned in my previous videos also, the type of hospital where you go may also change the cost of the surgery. But it doesn't vary too much. I mean, it is an average figure of 2.5 lakhs and it can go, let's say, 20-25k more or 10-15k less depending upon the hospital you choose. So that brings us to the second question which is what is the lifespan or the longevity of a knee replacement implant? Friends, that depends on multiple factors. First is the bone quality. If your bones are very very weak, then implant may become loose earlier. And how does it happen? Let me tell you through a bone model. Now this is a model of a knee replacement surgery and where the implants have been put onto this model. If I remove these implants for the sake of understanding, then this is the thigh bone and this is the bone of the leg and this is called femur, this is tibia. So now the part which is completely eroded is removed and a special kind of a cap is put using cement onto your bone and it goes and fits in there. So now if my bone is weak, then this implant may sink into the weak bone because you'll be walking on it. Same applies to the leg bone implant wherein we clean the bone and put in this special kind of a plate which goes inside the bone. It has a special kind of a plastic just like a hip replacement plastic and it is called polyliner. So now if my bones are weak, the implant can actually sink in and fail earlier. So one is the quality of bone. Second is the alignment of your leg or the placement of the implant. So what do I mean by that? I mean where the implant is placed, how well aligned your leg is and how well placed your implant is. And that's where the role of technology comes. And now we have started using robotics to do knee replacement surgery so that we can precisely place the implant where it belongs so that your leg alignment is correct. And that also increases the life of a knee replacement surgery. If my hip knee replacement implant has been put and my leg is like crooked, then it is going to wear faster and fail earlier, okay? So that is second most important point in the lifespan of the knee replacement surgery. And of course, the third factor is the implant. If you have been given a US FDA approved implant, then irrespective of the name of the company, it is likely to last longer if it has been well placed in your body and if your bone quality is good. But if you have been given a knee replacement implant, which is by a local company, then it may fail earlier in spite of the proper placement in your body and in spite of having a good bone quality. 
So friends, overall, these are the factors which affect the longevity of your knee replacement implant. And if all of them are taken care, then of course, it is going to last for at least 20 years and 20 quality years. Don't forget that. So on that note, friends, I hope you found this video useful. And for more such content, you can subscribe to my channel and write your questions in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video now.